I think I'm going to keep this pigtails because it's kind of giving me Wednesday. We put Wednesday in the game. I don't know. This looks like her though, but I think this fits the aesthetic of this gameplay for sure. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Kendra Plays The Sims. And for today's video, I'm just gonna be playing through Life and Death Part One. So I just bought the expansion pack yesterday and I'm really excited to play it. So if you're interested in watching me play through this expansion pack, go ahead and stay tuned. But first things first, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel. That way you always see my future content. And let's go ahead and get started with this gameplay. Okay, so I want to start off my gameplay with creating sims. So typically I don't do this. Sometimes I just jump straight in and start with the gameplay. But this time I just want to show you all how we can create these sims and really just getting started with the Johnson family. So I've already kind of put them together, but now I just want to customize them, give them more of a personality, assign them some traits, aspirations, pick their clothing, stuff like that. So I think that's what I'm going to spend the time for this gameplay doing is just showing you what all we can do for this family and create a sim that way when we get started with Ravenwood you already kind of know the backstory of these sims so let's get started with picking a new aspiration know that we have um and I decided to get to elderly sims instead because I always play with young adult sims and I just wanted to do something different and I thought it kind of went along with the theme of life and death so when like the parents pass away you know you can kind of see where I'm going with this but for Eleanor, I'm just going to pick her aspiration as a ghost historian. So this just says this sim wants to learn everything about ghosts and use the findings to write spooky horror novels. So I'm going to make Eleanor a ghost historian. So let's talk about some traits. So I'm thinking for her being an elderly sim, I'm going to go ahead and go with this wise trait just because I feel like it actually fits who that sim is going to be so somebody who's experienced enough of life to know what really matters so just prioritizing the things that makes the most sense and i definitely do want to give them a trait from the life and death expansion pack so i definitely want to go with something like chased by death so this one says these sims know that death follows their every move while risky and dangerous behavior may have deadly consequences Hmm, so they have frequent near death experiences. Okay, so that's a good one. And then we have macabre. So embrace your inner darkness and your occasional intrusions of light. So these Sims are all about being at their best and their unique Sim self while still reveling in all that life and the afterlife has to offer. So I'm gonna go with this, this trait. I think that's gonna be pretty cool. <laughs> Look at this little interaction that comes with it. That's pretty cool. And lastly, um, I just want her to be maybe family oriented. I think that makes the most sense because they do have a family going on right now. And I just want to go into more details too, because I don't want this sim getting pregnant. And it says this sim will be able to become pregnant. And I don't want that to happen. Um, I'm going to say neither. Um, I'm going to say no about producing milk and can this sim use the toilet standing? And I'm just going to say no sexual orientation i'm going to go for men um, i'm not exploring romantically and i'm just interested in men um, i'm going to leave the rest of these romantic boundaries at yes and i think i haven't put together my household relationships so i'm just going to make adam my spouse um in the family dynamic i'm going to do that as close and I'm going to do the romantic dynamic as wholesome. So we have a regular dynamic. So just our relationship in general and then our romantic relationship. And then we have our daughter, Adrian, and our family dynamic. Um, I'm just going to go for supportive. I think that's really cool. OK, so we've got Eleanor all good in terms of her traits, but I think we should definitely get started with her picking some outfits. So let's see what we have offered by this expansion pack. Okay, so we've got a lot going on in terms of clothing. They seem pretty young. I don't see Eleanor rocking a like rock shirt, uh, but we can definitely try to find something more in her wheelhouse. I'm really liking this black shirt. I think that's actually pretty cute for her as a elder sim. Definitely don't see her in a crop top. These shirts, absolutely not. Maybe for the daughter, maybe for Adrian, that might be good. Um, but I definitely think we should go for something a little bit more 
uh, good for elders, maybe. I think that might be the best option. So I think I'm gonna go for this black shirt. I think that is super cute. And I don't think I'm gonna choose another color um, because I think it might look odd. I don't know, I kinda like the green. But then again, the black is just so classic. And I feel like once we get into her hair and stuff like that and customizing that, it'll make a difference. So I'm gonna go into bottoms too. And I'm just going to narrow this down by packs just so I can see everything that I have. And for the shirts, they were pretty decent for what we saw. I think they were pretty on par for what this expansion pack has to offer. So looking at the bottoms, these are, this sim is shaped kind of funny. And when they turn into to elders, they do look a little bit different. Oh gosh, this is gonna be so interesting playing with this sim. Okay, so I'm just trying to find some pants that I think will go with this outfit. And that's all we have. Okay, maybe we'll go for some white, but that belt doesn't match. Oh my gosh, I don't know if this looks good together. Maybe we should try a different color of this shirt. Maybe we'll go for something else. I have to pick another shirt. I think this one goes better. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna do this instead and I'm gonna go for some different shoes for sure. And I'm really hoping that we get something good with these shoes because sometimes these shoes with these expansion packs, I can't. Oh, we've got some nice little loafers. I do like those. And we've got these boots as well. We've got some heels. I actually really like those. And we've got these little boots as well. I don't know how I feel about them. I'm gonna go for the loafers for this sim. And I'm now going to get into like aesthetics and stuff. And I want to see what I want my sim to look like. And I wanna leave her kinda as is. I don't wanna do too much work on her. I definitely just wanna spruce her up just a tiny bit. So I'm going to go into hairstyles and see what they have for this expansion pack. So just gonna narrow this down and I'm gonna see what they have that's gonna look like Eleanor. So we've got this look here and I think it has highlights in one and then not the other. So we could have her have highlights or pigtails. Let's have her stay still for just a second. Uh, we've got this hairstyle. Um, ooh, I kind of do like this one. Let's see what other hair we have. Okay, so the hairs are pretty decent. I think I might go for this one. I think I like that. And I wonder if I should make her hair. Nah, we'll leave it gray. Yeah, I think we'll leave it gray just to make it look like her. Um, I'm also gonna get into some eyebrows. I'm just gonna change up some stuff. I'm not gonna do too much. I'm just kind of giving her like a little makeover, if you will. And I'm also gonna go into eyes. Um, maybe we should do some eyes like this and go for maybe another blue color. Um, definitely gonna give her plumper lips. So I'm gonna go for like one of these twisted cats um, and give her a little bit more lip. She looks a little angry. Maybe we should go into detail edit and give her a little bit of a smile. I think that makes her less intimidating. Here is Eleanor, and I'm definitely gonna go in and um, I'm gonna apply this makeup look to all of my outfits too, because I don't wanna have to fool with that. And I wonder what we've got for formal wear. Um, I'm gonna go into that and see if we have anything from this life and death expansion pack. Maybe some full body. And I actually do like these dresses. I think to me, it looks more natural. Um, and it looks like the expansion pack. I'm kind of liking this black for Eleanor. I think that fits actually. And she's getting tired, I guess, I don't know. But this is Eleanor's look and I'm definitely gonna go for some accessories and fingernails. Uh, maybe we should do something pretty short. I don't see a, um, an older person having super long nails. And I'll just put some rings on her as well and maybe we'll do um, some earrings as well, because we definitely need that. So I wanna narrow this down. I wanna see if we got any from um, base game. 
especially from this expansion pack. Okay, so these earrings are really cute and I definitely wanna go for a necklace. There's so much stuff in here. Okay, I'm kind of liking this look for like every day. I could be, I like the black look on Eleanor. Maybe I should switch it to black. Huh. I think our everyday should be like a gown or something. I'm kind of digging the, the whole look. I like the whole black. I like black, black, black. And I think that's what I'm gonna go for for this gameplay. And I'm go going to also give her, um, some bracelets as well. And I wonder if we got any with this expansion pack. Okay, so we didn't get any bracelets or anything with this expansion pack. So I'm just gonna go for a normal bracelet and I'm gonna see what we have. And I'm just gonna give her some accessories and also going to go into her earrings and look here. So, I really like those one earrings that um, we already picked. I think we only have two anyways. Oh, and we've got some masks and glasses and stuff like that. That's good to know. So I'm just gonna go for these earrings again for this outfit. And I think that looks pretty good for Eleanor. I think that matches her. And I'm gonna go to formal. And I'm also going to do the shoes too. So I'm just gonna go for these black shoes that they have for the expansion pack. And we can also do style looks too, but I don't know if we wanna do that. We might do it for the other ones. Everyday wear, the formal wear, and I tried to keep the black aesthetic because I feel like that makes everything look a little bit better. So all of her outfits have a little bit of black in them. So I think that's what makes her stand out just a little bit more than the other Sims is that she definitely wears all black and she's definitely a believer in Ghost and the afterlife. So now that we're done with Eleanor, let's move on to her husband. Okay, and now we're on to the father who is Adam. And just like Eleanor, we're going to give all kinds of new aspirations and traits. So for aspirations for Adam, I'm just going to go for animal. Um, I think that one's a pretty good one. Um, just to have a cat around the house, I kind of feel like that fits the aesthetic. Um, but I hope at some point we're able to get a crow. I think that's a, supposed to be a thing in this expansion pack. So I'm excited to see where we can find one. And I'm also going to go for some other traits and I definitely want to do the chase by death. So I definitely want to go for that one and look at the, the, the animation that comes with it. So he's kind of paranoid. Okay, so I also kind of want to give him the skeptical trait. So like he's the one in the family that doesn't really believe like he kind of believes, but he's not so sure about it. So I'm gonna make him a skeptic and I wonder what that's gonna do for our Sam and if we can change that at some point. And I'm gonna make him a, a cat lover as well. And I might add a cat to the family. I think that's something I haven't done is like do a lot of animals. So that might be something we do here. So we've got his traits down. Um, as far as his identity, um, I'm gonna go for gender. So masculine frame um i'm gonna say he won't be able to get others pregnant um and he's going to use the toilet standing and he's interested in women and he's not exploring romantically and he's only interested in woohoo with women and i'm going to keep his romantic boundaries the same so now we've got some other traits and i'm excited to see how that goes and i'm just going to pick a family dynamic for our daughter and I'm going to go for close. I think that's a pretty good one to go with. So now we've picked the traits and aspiration for this sim. And now I just wanna get into the outfits and I'm kinda liking the male outfits better than the female outfits. So um, I like that they have where you can wear the same clothes across genders and stuff like that. I think that's pretty interesting and I think it's pretty cool too. I do like this. I kind of want to go for the black and white though. I kind of like the black theme for like the whole family. I think that's kind of cool. And I'm going to maybe go for one of these pants if they go well. I think these go pretty well with it. I wonder if they have any other swatches that would go well. I think the gray might, but I'm thinking I'm kind of digging the, 
the black. I think that looks a lot better. But I kind of don't like how they look with this outfit. I wish it was just like some jeans, some darker jeans. Um, but we might not be able to find that. So what if we should go for white? I wonder if that looks better. I think it does. And I'm gonna go for some different shoes. So I'm gonna narrow down the packs. And I think I'm gonna go for this black shoe. Or should I go for this one? Hmm, I'm kind of liking these pointy toe boots. I don't know. It's kind of hard to pick. Or I like these boots too. Hmm. Hey, bring his feet in. They look extra long. I think I like these boots to go with it. And I think I'm going to update the hair. And he has some piercings, but I don't know if I want to keep those or not. I might just to add to the gameplay. Um, but I definitely might switch up some of the piercings for sure. So I'm going into the hair and as you can see, the guy's stuff looks better than the girl stuff. Oh my gosh. This is the first time this has happened that I've ever been more excited about the male sims than the female sims because this stuff is way better, honestly, to me. But as you can see, we've got some swatches here. Yeah, I have that. Ugh. Okay, I'm kind of liking this hair. This looks kind of cool. Um, I do like the light and dark too. These are some cool hairstyles. I definitely don't want to do something normal, but I do appreciate the new hairstyles that we have. But I think I'm going to go for this kind of flowy look and I definitely might give him a different beard. And we're definitely going to enable hair growth, but I wanna go for something that matches more of the elder aesthetic. Um, something that makes a little bit more sense, but I kind of liked what we had earlier. I think that looked pretty good on him, was that first goatee that we saw, it was the long one. But we do have this one too. I think I like this one. Pretty scruffy, up to date, I like it. Okay, so now I want to go into accessories um, and I wonder what we can do with these piercings. Maybe we don't need one on both sides. Yeah, I think that looks a lot better. And we don't really have to change much for this sim because he already came looking pretty good, but I do want to update these eyebrows because I cannot. Um, I'm definitely going to go, I like these straight ones. Hmm. I think I want to pick, I'll pick these. I think this looks good. There are some nice suits in here. Hmm. I think this one looks like more of what we're looking for for him or this pinstripe. I think I'm going to go for the pinstripe. And I'm just gonna go for some regular shoes. Now they look too small. Too small. Um, and I think we might give him a little bit more muscle as well. Okay, and I have all of the outfits finished. So you have the everyday, the formal, the athletic, sleep, party, and swimwear, hot weather, and cold weather. So I try to keep that black aesthetic as well. I think that fit who he was, and I feel like the glasses definitely fit who he is too. So I wonder if I can apply that to all of my outfits. I think it kind of adds to the aesthetic almost. So let's click on these accessories and apply them to all of our outfits. Okay, I think that looks a lot better, just having those same accessories on him. I think that kind of completes his look as just the glasses and the nose ring. I don't know why, but it definitely does. But here is Adam, and he is the family skeptic, basically. And lastly, we have Adrienne. So she is the daughter of both Eleanor and Adam. So we're just going to make her probably like the main Sim. So we want her to be the Reaper of the family. We want her to go out and do all of the things. So we're going to make her as interesting as we possibly can. So for her aspiration, I do want to go for the ghost historian because I want her to do everything life and death. So I think this is the perfect Sim to assign this aspiration to. As far as traits, I'm just going to look through these and see what I want. I think I'm going to try to get something that matches more of this expansion pack. So I'm going to go for the macabre. 
So just embracing the inner darkness, of course, because you have to be able to do that in order to be a Grim Reaper. Um, so that means that she can't be a skeptic, of course. And I want to lastly make her, let's see. I wonder if you have to be kind of evil to be a Grim Reaper. I don't know. For the Sim, I'm going to make her a bookworm. I think that's a good thing to be as well. And as far as lifestyle, we already picked macabre. And social, let's pick one from here because I don't think we have any. I kind of want to go for the loner. I feel like that fits this aesthetic, but then she's not going to want to be around people. But that's quite okay. I'm going to make her a loner because this is like a very odd Sim where she's going to have to be a Grim Reaper but she's also embracing who she is. So that makes her pretty unique in a way. For her identity, I'm just going to say that the Sim can become pregnant and she can produce milk and not gonna pick that she's gonna use the toilet standing. And for sexual orientation, I'm just gonna go for men and women. And this Sim is exploring romantically and she's interested in Wuhu with both women and men and for romantic boundaries i'm just going to keep these all the same so as far as her look goes she came with red hair but i'm kind of digging black hair instead i think that might make a little bit of a difference i think it makes her look a little bit more cool honestly and i like that she already came with glasses because i was already intending on giving her some so let's work around with the sim i really don't think she needs that much work maybe just bring up her chin a little bit um, and maybe give her some new eyes and some eyelashes as well and her color of her eyes is purple so I'm pretty much going to keep that the same maybe give her some fuller lips I don't know I kind of like the thin lips look I like that on her um, and I'm just going to keep that the same I'm definitely going to go for a different hair from this expansion pack so I see this black I feel like this matches, honestly. I could be wrong. I kind of like the, the bangs a little bit. You do have some pigtails, an updo. You've got this pink hair. That might be good in the game too. I'm not feeling these hairs right here. I don't know. I don't like it. And we've got a mohawk. Um, I think I'm gonna go for the straight look. I think that who our sim is going to be and I'm going to go into some makeup and I'm definitely going to give her um, a darker look perhaps I think it's gonna fit who our sim is hmm kind of reminds me of like the Adams family I think I'm gonna keep this dark shadow unless I find another one that makes a lot more sense maybe this one I think this one looks a lot better rather than it going all the way up I'm gonna choose that one. And for eyeliner, I'm just going to go for something a little dramatic. I think that makes the most sense for the Sim. And for eyelashes, I'm definitely gonna give her some custom content because she deserves, unless I wanna go for a base game. Uh, and I don't. <laughs> so I'm just gonna pick one of these eyelashes from here and go for one of those. I'm just gonna pick a basic one, something that's not gonna interfere too much with our sim definitely going to update these eyebrows whoa maybe we can those are a little too arch i think i like these i think that looks good on this sim and i'm going to go back into the makeup and i'm going to give her a little bit of contour as well i think i'm going to go for the darker one i usually like to go for this one for mac um i do wish they would put out another one just like this one but I'm just gonna go for the darkest one that they have. And lastly, for lipstick, I'm gonna narrow this down and see if they have any. I don't know. Yeah, they didn't have any. I wish they would have put some more lipsticks in game. I think that would have been good, but I might just have to go with one of these dark ones. Maybe we can do something extra black. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about these. I might go for the first one that I saw, this one, and go for black. I think that matches the Sim. I think that looks that's a good look on her, honestly. As far as clothes go, I'm just gonna go for full body because um, I just did a regular outfit for the mom, but I'm definitely gonna do something different for the daughter. Um, 
want to see how this looks. Hmm. These outfits are interesting, to say the least. Hmm. Or she can be a chicken. Okay, that's kind of scary. Um, maybe we'll go for this dress. Hmm. I'm kind of liking the, the gothy look on her, honestly. I don't know how I'm feeling about this hair. We could go for a Wednesday vibe. Hmm. I think I'm gonna keep this pigtails because it's kind of giving me Wednesday. We put Wednesday in the game. I don't know. This looks like her though, but I think this fits the aesthetic of this gameplay for sure. So I'm gonna go into accessories and I'm gonna pick something. I think maybe I should give her like some piercings like the dad, maybe some eye piercings. Mmm. Okay, I'm liking this look. Um, I don't know if I want any eyebrow piercings. I definitely want this nose piercing. I think that looks pretty good on her. And as for earrings, I'm gonna go for some black ones. And I think that looks perfect for her look. It's definitely giving Wednesday Adams for sure. Um, definitely with the skin tone and everything. And I'm also going to go for these heels right here. I think that looks perfect. And for accessories for fingernails, I'm just gonna go in and maybe give her some long black nails. I think that looks pretty cute. And I definitely feel like that matches the vibe for sure. So I'm definitely gonna go for this black and white. Or this mainly like black one. This one came with the expansion pack, so I'm gonna use that one. So we've got her main outfit. And I think that fits her perfectly for what she's wanting to do, like be a Grim Reaper and she's a loner, all of those sorts of things. So I want to go into formal next. Um, and maybe I want to apply this makeup to all of her looks because I definitely don't want to do that again. So I'm going to apply that and I'm also going to do it for accessories too. That way she always keeps her nose piercings. So I'm gonna go into the style looks and I'm going to give her a new look for the rest of these categories. So I'll show you what I come up with in just a moment. Okay, so lastly, we have Adrienne with all her outfits. And as you can see, I love this look and adding the glasses was a nice touch at the end. And I think that's gonna be added to all of her accessories. So we have that, we have formal, athletic, sleep, party, swimwear, hot weather and cold weather. So we're going full out almost goth for this sim and I actually love it. So as you can see, we definitely used up all of the stuff from the life and death expansion pack that I know of. I tried my best to, but as you can see, we've created some really good characters. So we've got Eleanor and her vibe is all black. <laughs> we have the dad, his name is Adam and he's the family skeptic. And we have Adrienne, and she's going to be the family reaper. So if you're interested in seeing where this gameplay could go, go ahead and stay tuned because I'm really interested to explore Ravenwood in the next gameplay. If you've made it to the end of this gameplay, I would just like to say thank you so much for sticking around. I hope that you're enjoying this gameplay so far. And let me know down in the comments, have you purchased the Life and Death expansion pack? And if you have, do you like it? And if you have not, do you plan on doing so? So let me know what you think down in the comments, what you think about the gameplay and what we have so far. So I will see you in my next video and I hope you enjoy.